Binance to shift South African derivatives operations to Bahrain. Binance South Africa Binance to transfer its South African derivatives operations to its Bahrain subsidiary because of compliance issues. Last updated September 3rd, 2024 at 1339 GMT 3. Journalist Hassan Shitu, journalist Hassan Shitu about author Hassan. A cryptonews.com journalist with years of experience in Web3 journalism brings deep knowledge across crypto, Web3 gaming, NFTs, and play to earn sectors. His work has appeared in author profile share, copied last updated September 3rd, 2024 at 1339 GMT3. Why trust Crypto News with over a decade of crypto coverage? Crypto News delivers authoritative insights you can rely on. Our veteran team of journalists and analysts combines in-depth market knowledge with hands-on testing of blockchain technologies. We maintain strict editorial standards, ensuring factual accuracy and impartial reporting on both established cryptocurrencies and emerging projects. Our long-standing presence in the industry and commitment to quality journalism make Crypto News a trusted source in the dynamic world of digital assets. Read more about Crypto News Binance, one of the world's Leading cryptocurrency exchanges announced today that it will transfer its South African derivatives operations to its Bahrain subsidiary, Binance Bahrain BSCC. This unexpected move by Binance aligns with the regulatory frameworks of South Africa and Bahrain, ensuring continued compliance and service provision in both countries. Our South African users who wish to continue trading derivatives on Binance will now need to register new accounts with Binance Bahrain and complete a fresh Know Your Customer KYC process. This is the new standard set by the Central Bank of Bahrain. South African users must re-register with Binance Bahrain. The decision to migrate South African derivatives operations to Binance Bahrain is a response to the increasing need for regulatory alignment given the growing scrutiny from financial authorities worldwide. Binance Bahrain will now serve as the official entity managing derivatives products for South African residents, effectively becoming a juristic representative of 5 West OTC Desk PTY. South African users of Binance's derivatives platform will be required to set up new accounts with Binance Bahrain, accept new terms of use, and resubmit all necessary KYC documentation. Although potentially cumbersome for users, this process is seen as essential for Binance to adhere to international standards and remain legally operational in South Africa. The compliance process is part of Binance's broader strategy to navigate the complex regulatory requirements imposed by the Central Bank of Bahrain, which has licensed Binance Bahrain as a Category 4 crypto asset service provider. This license not only allows Binance Bahrain to operate a crypto asset exchange, but also to offer comprehensive custodian services, ensuring a secure and compliant trading environment for its users. Binance battles with global regulatory challenges. Binance Bahrain's status as a licensed Category 4 crypto asset service provider under the central Bank of Bahrain positions the exchange to provide a full suite of crypto services under a stringent regulatory framework, including exchange operations and custodian services. This setup offers a stable operational base to strengthen its regulatory standing despite ongoing challenges in other jurisdictions, such as the United States. Recently, Binance reintroduced MasterCard payments for Cryptocurrency purchases, a service previously suspended due to legal challenges in the U.S. where both the Securities and Exchange Commission, SCC, and Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, have filed multiple charges against the exchange. As Binance continues to expand its user base, reaching 200 million users and holding $100 billion in user assets under custody as of 2024, the exchange remains focused on enhancing its operational security and compliance measures. The 200 million user milestone represents approximately 36% of the total global cryptocurrency user base. This significant growth, including the addition of 40 million users in 2023 and 30 million more in the first half of 2024, reflects the exchange's ongoing appeal to crypto enthusiasts worldwide. In addition to regulatory adjustments, Binance is also contending with legal challenges in other regions.
In fact, a recent report indicates that Binance is hiring for over 1,000 new roles and compliance is the majority. The upcoming trial of Binance executive Tigran Gambarian in Nigeria coincides with the latest developments in the Binance versus SEC case in the U.S. Tigran, who has been detained in Nigeria since February, submitted a new bail application citing medical reasons on Monday. But his family said lawyers representing Nigeria's Economic Crimes Agency have opposed it. Commenting on it, the CEO of BNS shared emphasizing that Tigran must be allowed to go home for medical treatment. Notably, regarding the ongoing legal battles faced by the exchange and its leadership, this also includes the withdrawal of 10 attorneys representing Binance CEO Changpeng Cixi Zhao and his impending release from a halfway house. Follow us on Google News.